Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. So I've been looking up this company called Hellbiz, right? H-L-B-Z. Everybody's talking about it. It's something that everybody wants to get into, and I said it's a pump and dump. I'd stay away from it. You know, there's another company called F-F-I-E, Fifi, whatever the hell this is, and that's Furiday, Future, Intelligent, Electronic. I don't know anything about these companies, nothing, other than the fact that they're tied to each other. And I'm going to tell you guys something. It's really crazy that they're all pump and dumps and it's all happening right now in the real time. Um, you see the CEOs coming out saying they're fighting shorts. Um, I think they're in bed with the shorts. That's just me. So hopefully you guys can follow with me on this. So this is HLBZ is partnered up with Yorkville Advisors, right? So Yorkville Advisors are the ones who actually hold the bonds on the HLBZ. Um, they actually took a large portion out in FFIE. And that happened, and that's what's pumping right now. But if you know the FFIE, uh, that's actually owned by Citadel. So Citadel has a large portion in that company. Um, they increased it 17% back in November, and it's pumping right now. Yorkville, if you don't know, they are distressed credit investors. They are villains. Um, they hired the SEC branch chief. You know, they do this just like Citadel has done before. Um, Citadel and all of them. But I was looking at this filing from HLBZ. They didn't make sense because... Not only are they getting delisted because they um, they don't have an audit committee, they're getting delisted because of the priceless stock. But then if you go all the way down, it says right here, other events. On January 19th, okay, right here, the company had 183 million shares issued and outstanding. On January 20th, the company issued uh, four advance notices from Yorkville pursuant to their, uh, their SEPA, which is their standby equity purchase agreement. And... What they're doing, which is crazy, is they're um, they're selling shares right now at the very bottom, right? Like they're they're just dumping them out there on the on the lawn, but they're doing it in the f it's like a cover up. So the CEO comes out and he says, "I'm here to fight the shorts," and so the price jumps up. But as it's jumping up, and all of retail is getting excited to try to catch this, these guys are really just selling off the whole company to you. Yorkville is. That's happening right now. Mark Angel is not a good guy. This is Yorkville Advisors. Um, if you don't know, he's been charged before with fraud. Uh, they charged him and his and his uh, second right hand man, whatever it was, and they ended up getting I don't know two hundred eighty million dollar fine or whatever maybe. Um, Mark Angel is a bad dude. Uh, but as you can see, he bought a line of equity, and the equity that they loaned to the HLBZ was thirteen point nine million dollars in October. So. I really had to go check them out and see why the hell they allowed Glazer Capital, who was, who was in this damn company, sell off all their shares. They were selling, 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 and these were at inflated prices. This is back when the stock price was $10, and now it's at $0.30. Cents. Well, who the hell is Glazer Capital, right? So I really had to go, well, Glazer Capital, I've seen that name before because I was trying to remember where I saw it. And I know that the damn CEO is buying all these shares at the pennies at the bottom, $0.13, cents, $0.12, cents, whatever he's buying. Um, what do you think he's selling? I don't know when that file, when that form is going to come out, but he's going to have to sell at some point after these pumps that they're doing. But he bought them all at $0.10, cents, and now they have you in it. It's a pump and dump, as I'm calling it, but look at Catch a Group. So Glazer Capital is is uh, has a stake in Catch a Group. So what is that? Do you guys not remember what I told you about Catch a Group? Catch a Group and Citadel are partnered, and who is Catch a Group? They're connected to Patrick Grove, who's the director and, the found, and, the, and he's also the founder of Catch a Group. Who's, who's Patrick Grove? He's on the board of directors for GNS. And then with uh, this other guy, Richard James Hamilton. They're all connected. I can't. I, what am I, a conspiracy? I don't know. When things are too coincidental, guys, at some point, you guys have to understand who's behind it all. Holy hell. The Wizard of Oz. Good luck, guys. Um, naked shorts fighting, <laughs> I don't know, with themselves. This is ridiculous. You guys got to put it together. Peace.